on the GigaPress, uh, we were completely forced to redesign the system. And we came up with some uh, very innovative ideas that have completely changed, I'd like to say revolutionized, what we do. The GigaPress 9000T is a massive beast, and Tesla's most powerful secret weapon at that. After days of anticipation, this huge machine to create 20 designed to create 20 million cars by 2030 is finally ready and has been shipped to Houston, Texas. It'll cross the boundaries of the impossible to transform into a gigantic money printer for this automaker, which will earn it over $50 billion annually. So, what car will be produced from this magnificent machine? And what is its actual production capacity? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. And this is the magic figure that we have to try and stay in. Get the machine to the customer as quickly as we can. This is good news for Tesla fans. Gigapress 9000T, the most potent machine has traveled three quarters of the distance to Giga Texas. IDRA provided GigaPress 9000T with fairly standard delivery times. An account on Twitter noted that the machine left Italy on September 3rd and arrived in Houston, Texas on September 28th. This means it takes nearly a month to deliver this huge machine. The GigaPress 9000T is now in the process of clearing customs before being brought to the Giga Texas factory, and in just a few days, it will be quickly delivered to the Giga factory. Tesla is expected to receive the machine in mid-October. In total, there are 54 packages weighing 77,526 kilograms. It was carefully packaged in large yellow wooden boxes marked with IDRA, each weighing 1,436 kilograms. So what model will this giant machine produce at Tesla? It's believed that this particular 9,000 ton press will be used to create Tesla's Cybertruck frames by die casting aluminum alloys. The Cybertruck's rear bodywork would require at least an 8,000 ton press, a significantly higher amount of force than Tesla's other vehicles. The need for 1,000 extra tons might have something to do with the redesign of the truck or it could be overbuilt to ensure the reliability of the vehicle. We're actually going to be using even bigger casting machines for the rear body of the Cybertruck because it's a bigger vehicle and you've got a long truck bed that's going to support a lot of load, said Musk. It's good news that suggests Tesla will begin Cybertruck production earlier than expected. After completing the installation, GigaPress the 9000T will start production of Cybertruck in December or early January of 2023. It's then estimated that the pickup will be approaching its launch date, which is going to be approximately April of that year. Moreover, IDRA said that Tesla was the first to receive production orders for the 9,000 ton machines that can be used for small truck and SUV markets. However, Cybertruck still has Tesla's priority because this car has been delayed for three years with the expectations of hundreds of thousands of people hanging in the balance. The GigaPress 9000T model is designed to be used by Tesla to produce their amazing products. So, of course, it has always garnered a lot of attention. Now, let me ask you, are you curious at all about what the GigaPress 9000T is capable of? 9,000 tons. 9,000 ton machine, uh, and this version is uh, even the high flow version. Uh, to increase the velocity of the, or decrease the cycle time. During operation, the GigaPress 9000T is no slouch, as it has a cycle time of 45 seconds, which translates to an output rate of 80 completed castings per hour, or about 1,920 castings per day. That's over 700,800 castings per year per machine. Cybertruck has surpassed 3 million reservations, so it'll take about 1,563 days or 52 months to complete 3 million orders. This is a time beyond expectations. 
let's start the countdown of the day in which we'll be receiving the fantastic Cybertruck electric pickup. Also, how would the output capacity of Giga Texas change? The current capacity of Giga Texas is 60,000 cars per year. A Gigapress 9000T will help Texas set an output of 760,800 vehicles per year, which is 13 times higher than the current capacity. Thus, the goal of 20 million cars by 2030 will be in the palm of the tech giant Tesla's hands. Until now, there is only one Gigapress 9000T model in Giga Texas. After increasing production and generating high revenue, Tesla plans to add four more machines by 2024. The 9000T model that they will have on the factory floor will revolutionize the production of cars, giving Tesla an even greater edge over older competitors. Although we don't know the exact price of the 9000T, there's no doubt that it had cost Tesla billions of dollars. In return, will allow Tesla access to an amazing production capacity, basically transforming this machine into the machine that makes machines that will in turn make huge revenue for Tesla at about $50 billion per year or even more. Elon Musk will order more of these machines for Giga Berlin and Giga Texas to make single piece ends for Model Ys and 3s. Now I know some of us may be wondering, the Gigapress 9000T is a huge machine, so how did IDRA ship it to the US? They said that shipping a Gigapress is not so immediate. When it is finished, the Gigapress is disassembled to be packed. This operation takes at least two weeks. The parts are carefully packed into special materials to prevent the product from being damaged during transportation. Let's take an example. In order to ship a Gigapress overseas, IDRA has filled 12 open top 40 containers and 12 self-supporting crates. The weights always vary from 3.5 tons to over 70 tons. Shipping by sea requires special packaging. In Europe, they rely on road transport with standard and exceptional vehicles. A minimum of 22 trucks or containers are needed to transport a Gigapress 9000T model. The number can vary as the Gigapress is often completed with an automation cell. The longest shipments are, of course, intercontinental ones. What is referred to as transit time is port to port. How do you feel about the capacity of the 9000T Gigapress? Do you believe its presence will help speed up the launch of the Cybertruck? And how will it be used by Tesla to make the Tesla Semi? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.